What's up guys? We are back with your Wednesday training. So to get started today, you're going to do a five minute AMRAP. We are going to do five front foot elevated split squats. So find a slightly elevated surface. Uh, it could be a plate, could be a, a book, a stair, anything like that. And what we're going to do is five split squats. So I'm going to start from this kind of diamond position. I'm going to squat all the way down to a deep lunge and then all the way back up. Five reps on one leg and now I'm going to hit five reps on the other leg. After that, you're going to do five Cossack squats on either side. So nice wide stance, heels down on the ground, sit nice and low, get the hip crease below parallel, stand up back to the middle, and same thing on the other side, five on each side. And then we're going to do 15 bounding jumps to whatever object you were doing split uh, lunges on. So up, back, just focusing on rebounding off the ground the whole time. Once that is done, you're going to do 20 banded good mornings or just 20 good mornings. So focusing on keeping the shins vertical, sending the hips back, maintaining a nice neutral midline, and then squeezing back up. Only go as low as you uh, need to to feel a stretch in the hamstring, so don't try and overdo it. And then we're going to hit 10 single leg deadlifts on either side. So foot out, I'm going to reach back to the room behind me with the other leg. Back stays nice and flat until I feel that stretch and then stand back up. So it should feel very much like a good morning, but with one leg. So fetch warm up. Once that's all said and done for our strength work today, you've got three sets. You're going to do six Bulgarian split squats on either leg with a slow descent. So you're going to count out at least three or four seconds on the way down. Loading these up, if you have a bar, you can do that. Otherwise, a kettlebell or a dumbbell or even a backpack is probably going to be more than enough to get your fitness on with this. But most important thing is you're going to want to find an elevated surface that you can put your back leg on that allows you to get your front leg below parallel. So a 20 inch box for me is just about the right height. I can almost get below parallel, so in a perfect world, I would want this object a little bit higher. But a couple things that we're trying to focus on. So when you go to do these, set up so that just the front half of your foot's on the box. So again, not a whole lot of your foot's going to be on the box. And then step out so that your hip is lined right up over your ankle here. And what that's going to allow you to do is when you send this hip down and back, it's going to keep me in a good, naturally aligned squat position as I go through my Bulgarian split squat. And again, you're going to descend as slowly as you can, three to four seconds, keeping the chest nice and tall so that there's a little bit of a stretch in the non-working leg, as well as some heavy loading on the front leg. And you're going to do three sets of six on each side. After that, what we got today for our conditioning, you're going to go for an 800 meter run. After that, you're going to perform five rounds of 10 squat cleans and 10 burpees. After that, you're going to perform a 400 meter run. So what we're going to do today is if you can't run, then you're going to go, to go ahead and perform one minute of butt kickers, high knees, jumping jacks, and RIP, running in place. So you're going to do one minute for each of those to, assim or to simulate a, an 800 meter run. And then on the back end, you are going to finish the workout with 120 mountain climbers. So 60 on each leg. And again, hopefully that's going to take you the better part of a minute and a half. So a minute and a half to two minutes, which would have been about, uh, be about equivalent to the time for a 400. So those are going to be your running scales if you're not going to run today. Um, for the workout itself, so burpees, we just have normal burpees today, chest to the deck, jump clap at the top, good old fashioned, should be used to those by now, I hope. Uh, after that, 10 squat cleans. So for the squat clean, if you're doing it with a dumbbell or kettlebell, you're going to do 10 uh, total, so five on each side, alternating from side to side, making sure that you're, so with these, you may not be able to load up too heavy uh, for this movement, <clears throat> depending on what kettlebell you have. But the most important thing is that I achieve a good front rack position and full extension of the hips because I want to train good clean mechanics. So what that means is that when I go through my clean, I want to make sure that I deadlift slow, explode fast, 
and then achieve an actual front rack, meaning the kettlebell or dumbbell comes to rest on my shoulder. So from the side, watch the hip, should look like this. Reset. And from the front, should look like this. Noticing again, the kettlebell gets all the way onto my shoulder as I come into that front rack position so that I find a little bit of rest. And you're gonna alternate five reps per side, 10 total. That is your workout. Afterwards, all we have is a little bit of figure four stretch and pigeon pose. So for the figure four stretch, ow, um, the figure four stretch, let's get this out of the way. We're gonna come to a seat on the ground, tuck this leg into my thigh, and then we're gonna reach down this leg for a hamstring and outer low back stretch. And we're gonna side bend a little bit, holding for 90. Then I'll switch sides, same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna do a pigeon pose. So bringing that foot up as close to the hip as you can get it, sinking that butt cheek back, and just trying to stretch out the glute on that front leg. And you can stay nice and tall, or you can drop down to the ground. It's up to you. That is your training for Wednesday. Enjoy. Tag us, Palestop Fitness, or by Zeus. We'll see you guys back tomorrow.